So that was a short piece that I called double bass blues because well it's full of double basses and that will be the main topic of this lesson well in my series of uh, bring it to a higher level so double basses and also and especially muting which I think is one of the most neglected parts in country blues players playing by uh, many players and one of my hang-ups of course <laughs> Uh, the establishment for this piece in the video description, you will find the link below. And we're in standard tuning. And we're playing this out of the key of C. And you'll notice it's typical uh, Blind Blake, who was a champion of double basses, of course. And uh, let's get into it. And I'll play the introduction. starting with a diminished chord and this is more typical of uh, Lonnie Johnson he used to like to use this uh, moves very much but playing in the key of D then but it works also in the key of C of course and we're starting the first uh, second first second and first fret and I'm pinching this with my thumb and my two fingers and I'm pinching that so hard that also that third string rings and the muting is done by lifting the chords like that and even the last chord you could play that also uh, mute like that for example so we strum down Sometimes I do like this and slide down. Typical um, turnaround for the key of C. And in bar four, there you're going to determine the rhythm of this piece. Because you can play it uh, slow or to a medium fast tempo. So if you play, then you have to play the rest also in that tempo. If you go slow, and so on. So one more time that introduction. I'll play a couple bars of the A section. So we start with a C chord, which is normal C chord, and the pinky is added to the third fret first string. And notice the muting, the right hand muting. Notice also when I play that uh, F chord with the thumb wrap, and if I have to bend the third, the third fret second string, I don't place my index because my hand is more free then to do that bend, to put more strength in that pinky. Uh, if you have to put some part of your ha hand strength in that uh, index to put it down, then you have l uh, less tension. Uh, movement in your pinky, well, in my case anyway. And when I, when necessary, of course, I place it back like the second beat of the sixth measure. Again, that's C, going to the G7, and adding the pinky to the third fret of the fourth string, another G7 chord. 
notice the muting of the right hand after every play beat almost. And that uh, C7 you can play either, like I did with the two fingers here uh, for the third beat, or you can play that with a tap. And notice that it's easier when you go do a double bass between the sixth and the fourth, or the four, fifth and the fourth. Uh, sorry, I said the sixth and the fifth, or the fifth and the fourth string. To do that in a dragging motion, for example, bar five. And I can compare it to um, the classical playing rest stroke. For example, if they have to play several strings, they rest, after picking the string, the first string, they rest on the, on the second string. It gives, it gives a special color to the, the sound of, uh, which you're making. And that's what I'm doing with the temp also. I'm, I'm not playing like that, but bam, I'm slipping to the other string. And you don't need a thumb pick, uh, it just gives you a bit more accent, but it works also with bare fingers of course. Uh, it is probably, uh, well correct to say that Blind Blake didn't use a thumb pick. Uh, so there are a couple of witnesses uh, and one Bill Williams for example who uh, traveled with him a lot of uh, years, he said he had a, even a hole in his stamp of playing with this. All right. And I'm playing usually when I play two strings with temp and index. You don't have to do that. But it, it gives you a bit more control in my opinion. And that last beat on the sixth measure, it is with a tap, not a bit like that. Often the second and the fourth beat are accented to give it some swing feel, of course. Especially when there's not much happening in the trails. Again, we are bar nine now. F diminished partial. One, two, one, and the temp wrap. And notice that in bar eleven. third beat, it's just that, and you can let it rain. And the next beat is really muted there. Here you can see the, the accenting of the second and the fourth beat. Without travels. bar 12 and in the last beat pull off pull off pull off I forgot to mention one pull off in the tablature but you can you can guess it of course G7 adding again that pinky to the third fret fourth string and here F, and now you move with your thumb to the second fret, sixth string, and normal, well, partial G chords. It's a good thing to be able to use your thumb because, well, it's an extra digit and that uh, that won't harm in uh, any way. And that movement I accented that. Right, 
second page of the tab, bar 15 and 16. G7. Pinky moves up to the 4th fret. From the 3rd to the 4th. It moves when you play the, the last beat bass. And then we're sliding into a, a long A chord moved up to the 5th fret becomes a G, uh, sorry C. So, and we, the last beat of the 16th measure, so you play it, and hard enough that both strings, 4th and 3rd strings ring. And then you slide up, you don't pick it a second time. And then you pick it in the 1st beat of the 7th measure. And here the muting is done by the picking fingers to keep all those uh, single string notes very short. And well, I, I assigned my uh, middle finger to the first string and the uh, index finger to the second string, but we can do, of course, everything with the first finger. But this from the 4th fret, 2nd uh, string, open, is easier with index, middle. Alright, yeah, that's single finger out. G7. And of course you can play with a temp, no problem, and I used my index and middle fingers to play that G7. And you see the arrows in the tap, of course. Notice again, my index uh, is off the strings when I have to do those bends. Interesting variation for an F7 chord. So your D7 chord moved up to the 5th fret, 5, 4, 4, sorry, 5, 4, 5, and 3. And in the performance you hear me like playing like this. I really do some uh, accenting and some dynamics there. I think the idea of double basses in blues, uh, maybe you've seen the ads for uh, Blind Blake, uh, the publicity ads in the Chicago Defender, and Paramount, the company for which he recorded, advertised him with the man with the piano sounding guitar. And of course they, they uh, thought about this double bass playing. And if you compare it with the piano, you will notice that a piano the basses are short as well because, well, you don't have much sustain in a piano and that idea is brought to the guitar. So that's why I think the double basses in blues and especially in that Blind Blake style play of playing should be short. And about 25 and 26 are a good uh, example of that because if you don't do that it sounds pretty horrible. I'm going to play it from about 23 till 26 without any muting. this.
much cooler, I think. <laughs> All right, so we bought um, 23. <laughs> is muted. Even the muting in the last two bars, where there are no double basses, is important, I think, because if you don't do it, do it, it sounds like this. And a part of the melody notes is lost, so it should be So a typical blind Blake move, move. I think it used that in going to Detroit. So that's pretty much it for this piece. And experiment with it. Uh, to make it a full piece, you can play the A part uh, twice, for example, and then the, the B part, and maybe the A part once more, and the B part once more. So I have a full piece, and you can improvise on it, of course. Um, for example, in, in, in the, the F parts, you can... If you want to, uh, to get some new ideas, or more ideas in this style, um, check out Blind Blake's piece called um, Guitar Chimes. It's a, a slow blues in the key of C, and there's a lot of uh, double basing and riffs going on, and it's, you could consider it as a sort of vocabulary for the key of C, for playing in the key of C, slow or medium slow. Okay. Have fun with it. And check out my other uh, Bring It To A Higher Level lessons. I placed links in the video description for that. And they all have free tap. Have fun. <laughs>